and dread. Every day, somebody found a mark on him. Every night, someone else took on the fever. And still, it continued to spread. Anatomy of Grey, chapter, chapter two. two. This time, this terrible onslaught of sickness was a frightening time. But secretly, for a girl who was fated to live in the most boring place in the world, secretly, it was the best of times, because she got to spend so much time with Dr. Galen P. Gray. In fact, the doctor and June spent so much time together, one would think they were practically married. <laughs> Except for the fact that they didn't have sex, or sleep in the same bed, or kiss, or hold hands. There's very little they did not share. She went where he went, she did what he did, for June had become his assistant. Oh God, no! Oh. Just take one breath at a time, Doc. You'll be fine. Drink up. Thank you. Why are you so afraid of blood? I don't know. Do you think you'll ever get over it? Do we have to talk about this? Why do you wash your hands after every patient? Well, it stops the spread of germs. How? I don't know. It just does. Well, if washing kills germs, then why don't you make everyone who's marked take a bath and wash the marks off them? That wouldn't work, Jamie. Why not? Well, because the marks are an external symptom of an illness that's already inside of them. Then why don't you wash up their innards? Make them drink soap and hot water to kill the germs. That wouldn't work either. Why not? Well, because the disease has its roots in the bloodstream. It's spread throughout their system. Is that why you're so afraid of blood? Can I ask you a question? Why do you ask so many questions? Because you said there's no such thing as a dumb question, only a dumb answer. Well, I do love your questions. You do? I do. In fact, I love them so much I want you to parcel them out for me. I want you to limit yourself to one question a day. One a day? <laughs> one a day. Monday. Yes. Tuesday. Do you believe God is good? Yes. <laughs> Wednesday. Why what? Why do you believe God is good? Well, don't you? I don't know. They say his eyes on the sparrow. But if that's true, then why do people get sick and die? I mean, sparrows don't pray. They don't go to church. They don't tithe. They don't do anything but fly around and be sparrows. And if God cares more about them than he does about us, what good is he? How do you know sparrows don't pray? Thursday. How come you've never been married? Friday.
die. I don't know. Can I take that question back and ask a new question? Yes. If you believe God is good, do you believe in heaven? If you do, do you think you'll ever see my father again? And if I do, how old do you reckon I'll be when I see him? Because I'm planning to live as long as possible, so I'll be a lot older than him when I die, and that would be weird because I'll look like his mother, but feel like his daughter. But by then, I'll probably have kids of my own, so that they get confused if I end up younger than them. And so, how do you think that all works itself out? Well, I think you're always going to be your pa's daughter, Junie, no matter how old you get. Oh, I think you'll miss him for the rest of your life. I don't need eternity. I'd give anything just to spend a day with him. An, an afternoon, even. If I could just spend one afternoon with my father, that'd be heaven enough for me. What would you say to him, Junior? I don't know. I guess I'd just tell him I love him and I want him back. June being June, say the last, deepest, and most personal question. For Sunday. And once again, she wrote her thoughts down. Do you think I am pretty? Mark <laughs> here for yes, Mark here for no. <laughs> oh, Lord June! It may be trite and immature to you, Mother, but there are some things you don't ask out loud. Oh, Junie, I think you are 15 years old. What's that supposed to mean? That means I'm not going to answer that question. <laughs> if you don't mind, I have patience to see. Doc, I know you're busy than a three-day cactus sandbox, so I won't take up much of your time. But oh, this morning my head hurts so badly, I can't hardly see. You have a fever or any aches and pains? No. Are your glands sore? I don't think so. June, would you fix me a hot compress, please? No. <laughs> oh, I've practically dumped my third head in hot water, and it ain't helping any. It's probably just like you said, Doc. Just worry is all. Are you coming to fire tonight? Not if I can help it. Oh. Maggie, hmm. I found a mark on you. Oh, where? It's on the back of your neck. <laughs> I can't be marked. I haven't done anything wrong. Well, neither has anyone else. Oh, preacher's too prideful. Bell does a gossip and, and, and crutch. He drinks like a fish. I read the Bible and I pray every day. Well, if God sent down lightning to strike everyone who misbehaved, we'd have theologians predicting the weather. <laughs> you tell me what's causing it then. Well, it's a disease, maybe. It's spread by germs, not by God. Well, we never had these germ things before you came here. Germs have been around since the dawn of creation. You're the right cause of this, ain't you? Let's not be ridiculous. Well, I, I didn't have this before you touched me. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. No, I couldn't. No, I don't. No, I no, Maggie, no. Maggie, come back here. Would you go talk some sense into that woman? Perhaps she'll listen to you. Why would she listen to me? I'm just a kid. Hey, Judy, are you coming to fire? No. Thank you.
it's happened to you and you and now me and you know it. I don't got no marks on me, Maggie. You had any truck with the doctor? Sure, I talked with him. And did he touch you? Well... Well, did he or didn't he? No. You see, there. I went to see him not two days ago. And? Did he touch you? He examined me from head to toe, Homer. And I'll tell you what else. If I felt any better right now, I'd be twins. Oh, why don't you go back to sleep for a couple of years? Oh, why don't you wake up, man? You are so smitten by him, you've gone blind. And you too. When I let him anywhere near my daughter, if I thought he was causing this? Please, please, sister, please. Now, sickness is a hard thing to fathom, my friend. But I believe the Lord God is a loving creator. I believe the good Lord put this mark on us to test us. Don't you see? Test us how, Pastor? Oh, you see it left and right in the scriptures. All the saints suffer. Look at Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Look at how God tested Jonah and Job. Well, then, why don't he mark the doctor? He's a Jew, and they say they're the chosen people, so everyone claims to be the chosen people. Well, the Jews are a Bible-token people. Of course, they only took half of them. <laughs> and when the rapture comes, I doubt the Jews will be going to heaven. Perhaps God doesn't want to waste his time on them. That is the most small-minded thing I've ever heard. Rebecca, there's a mark on you. Oh, there is not. Where? There's a mark on her? Where? Right here. Uh, I don't know how he does it. But somehow he doesn't. Well, I've always been somewhat suspicious of him. Pastor. I keep my daughter away from him. Pastor. What is it? What's wrong, Mr. Collins? It's Belva. Well, she's gone from us. Oh, my. Oh, no. Dad? You could have a strong talk with that doctor. He won't let me bury her. What do you mean? I mean, he's wanting to carve on her, sir. God? The dead woman? We'll put a stop to this crutch. Don't you worry. I'll come with you, Pastor. I tell you, the maid's in a frenzy. Oh, dear Lord. I told you. I just, I never had a name for it before. 
take my word for it. You don't need to convert just because you're an oddball. See, even you think so. I can't live, like, around here the rest of my life. I belong in the city. I want to see museums and libraries and temples and whatnot. Gray is just flat. Everywhere you look, it's flat. Even the hills are flat. I'm going to make this as clear as I can. You're not going with me, June. You're only 15 years old. 16 in March. Your ma is having a baby. She needs you. She needs you, too. My future is feathers and tar, June. Now I have to go. Will you just answer one more question before you run off? What? Is everyone who's Mark going to die? I don't know, but I fear that they will. You're not marked, are you? No, but my mother is. Oh. Does that mean your baby's marked too? My, 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 my. I told you, he was down the livery stable. Just hold it right there, Dr. Craig. Judy, has he harmed you? My virtue's intact, Homer. Thanks for asking. <laughs> Go fetch Mr. Collins. Tell him to bring a rope, son. You don't want my soul on your conscience, Pastor. For the love of God, Pastor, you're not going to hang him. You do know he tried to carve poor Mrs. Collins into little tiny pieces right after she died? I only wanted to perform an autopsy, sir. What's an autopsy? Now is not the best time for questions, June. It's the devil's work, that's what it is. It's an examination of the internal organs to determine the course of a disease and the cause of death, sir. Which was not me. Are you all right, Pastor? You look kind of flushed. It's been a long night. You're not making him sick, are you, Doc? What? All he has to do is look you cross-eyed and boom! There's the mark of the beast. Judy, don't judge. He's the devil, and I'm in league with him. Oh, I really wish you hadn't said that. <laughs> the, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? Don't look at him. When the wicked don't get his eyes come upon me to eat my flesh, they shall stumble and fall. I got thy face with me. Don't put thy servant in danger, for thou hast been the help of my flesh. Pastor, Pastor Winfield, stay with me. Go, 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 go! Hold still, sir. Let me examine you. Somebody help me! Are you crazy? Get out! Where's he? Get out of here! Hold on, Judy. Does it hurt you? Oh, she's so angry. Come right over here. That stone is gonna have to come out, Pastor. Oh. Oh. He's killed the pastor! He hasn't killed anyone, Homer. I was just trying to help him. Just get away from me. No, God, I'm dying! Doc, I'd like nothing more than to shoot you right now. If you shoot him, I'll shoot you. Judy, what's gone into you? Let's everybody just put the firearms down, please. If you shoot me, Mr. Collins, he's gonna die. And so will you. So make your choice and say your prayers. No, oh, God, have mercy. I might be wrong about this, but I think his kidneys are backing up on him. You know how to save him then? I do. Well then, save him. Get out of town. Fetch me a saddle blanket, you. I think I've got everything I need right here. What are you rooting around for? Would you point that gun to the ground, Mr. Collins, before someone gets his gonads blown off? <laughs> Where do you want it, Doc? Just lay it down right there. Well, just stand there, son. Give me a hand with him. Don't move me. All right, now. You ready? Oh, God. One, two, three. Yeah! Oh, he's terrified. Oh, he's terrified. All right. Give me that box, Mr. Collins. There you go, Doc. Pastor, I'm going to give you some whiskey. It'll help with the pain, so. Oh, he ain't took a drink in his life. Well, there is a first time for everything. <laughs> Just think of it as medicine, preacher. That's it. That's right. Drink it down. <laughs> That's good. All right. Hold that light up for me, would you? He's got, he's got a damn bottle heavy, you know me. I hope to God this plague ain't in the bloodstream. Otherwise, you'll catch it for sure. Catch it? How can you catch it? You're the one giving it out, ain't you? Homer, I am so damn stupid, I thought you were smarter than that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now. The main thing is to keep him from thrashing around, though. You got a grip on him? I hope so. Well, that's uh, quite a knife. <laughs> All right, now. 
Get a grip on yourself. Here we go, Pastor. Oh, I am gonna pass out. You can't quit on him now, Josh. Here, you got one open. take a drink, take a drink. Oh, what are you looking at? Blood gushing out. Oh. Homer, would you go fetch a pail of water? Right now? Don't make me beg you, son. Oh, go to the well at the church. Yeah. How are you at following instructions, Jim? I usually make them up as I go along, Doc. Well, I'll make him up as you go along. Oh, he's coming too. Ah! Ah! Yes, he has to drink, drink, drink. That's right. Are you all right? Uh-huh. What do you want me to do? You see that darkest thing there? This one? Don't cut that. You'll kill him. Cut down. Darkest blue. See the gallbladder. You see it? Which one's the gallbladder? Right there. Now don't touch the mesenteric artery. You see that darkish mass there? This right here? Right next to it. Mr. Collins, there is a needle and thread in my bag. Do you want me to cut it? Uh, hold on a minute. Good. Got thread. There. See it now? Yeah. All right. <laughs> well, you're doing well. Now don't press on the blade. Just love it. Let the knife do the work. You got any tweezers? Right here. Good lord, it's the size of a walnut. No wonder it pains him. All right, now just hold still, and I will pinch the vein for you. I got the little devil. Oh, good for you, Judy. Cut him on it, Doc. Set it down right there. Crutch, needle, please. Yeah. I'd say this calls for a drink. Don't you dare touch a drop of that. Now ladle some water into the wound, and we will close him up. Now a little whiskey, kill the germs. Whiskey and water, June. Whiskey and water is the key. I don't like the taste of water much. <laughs> water is the best thing for purifying the system, Homer. Can't live on soda pop alone. I do. You're not half bad with that needle, Doc. I always thought sewing was kind of a female art. Well, it's kind of like repairing a ripped up old sofa. <laughs> All right. Junie, could you cut that thread for me? Thank you. You finished? Thank goodness. You did a fine job, Doc. No, she did a fine job. Now let's just hope he lives through it. I didn't think you had it in you, Doc. Mr. Collins, I beg of you, let me perform an autopsy on Belvin. Let me learn what I can from him. Ain't right to cut on a dead person, Doc. I can't let you do it. She's suffered enough as it is. All right. Well, let's get this man home to his bed. You grab his arms, I will take the legs. Too damn old for this. Okay, now careful. Don't jostle. There we go. Ooh. And watch your step. Hey, Junebug, will you get my gun for me? Surely. Let's have a look at those eyes, Miss Tiny. Why? That's 
hold still and look at me. You were the nicest individual. Your pupils are still dilated. Dilated? What does that mean? Is, is that good or bad? I think you'd better lie down, Miss Spell. I don't have time to lie down. I need to look after my brother. Your brother's going to be fine. June is looking after him. June is just a child. She can't very look after herself. Let's just worry about you for right now. You're getting warmer and warmer. What's happening to me? After the fever sets in, the markings would blister. I feel like I could crawl out of my own skin. Let's check your vitals. No, no, thank you. I do need to examine you, Miss Tiny. I have other patients to see today. I just want to get better. Don't you understand that? You've got to get this damn fever down. I can change. I'll change. I'll be a new person. Tiny. Whatever it is I'm doing, I'll change it, I swear. I made a salve for it. I can change everything. Tiny. What? Sit down and hash up. Right now. I'm sitting. Right now. I'm hushing. There we go. I'm healing. I'm changing. I'm going to be all right, ain't I? It's just a sound. Well, it's burning. Everything good has a price attached to it. Just hold still and let me work on it. You missed a spot. Thank you. <laughs> First Belva, and then Tiny. Then all across the county, people began to fall ill. <clears throat> Oh, she's beautiful, Galen. She 
She's just perfect. But is she all right? She's not marked, if that's what you mean. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> thank goodness. She looks just like her father. They all look like constipated Eskimos. <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna name her? You take her. Oh, Becky, I can't do that. Galen, I'm marked. I can't keep this child even if I wanted to. And I think I do. But I just can't. You know that as well as I do. Just take her, please. I can't bear to fall in love with her any more than I already have. I want you to take her and June and leave. You want me to take both your children? Cross that river and never look back. Well, no, ma'am, I won't do it. I don't want my children to die. I can't leave you here to die alone. Well, what good is you staying going to do? Except sacrifice that little baby and June. You don't know the cause. You don't know the cure. You don't know anything. For the first time in my life, I know that I am a doctor. I think a fool can see my, see my love for you. You think I don't want you to stay? You think I'm not terrified? But my children stay here and catch this. And you stay on my account and they catch this and die? I swear to God, I will never forgive you. I'm going to give the baby to June and stay and take care of you. You will do no such thing. June, June, come here. Oh, for Pete's sake, Doc, she's just squalling because she's hungry. Just give her a bottle, that's all she wants. Here, why don't you give her the bottle? Stop your fussing. Here you go. That's a good girl. That's a good baby. You know what I think? No, but I bet you're going to tell me. I think she's taking a shine to me. I think she's got her pa's eyes. I mean, don't get me wrong, she's prettier than him. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Lord. But it's just like you stared right back at me, Mama. And so, in the fullness of time, June and her family walked down to the water's edge. And those of us, those of us left on the good ground of Sheridan County gathered that evening Bury our dead. Those who were marked and those who were unmarked depart from each other. Hello, Homer. Evening, Miss Becky. Doc. Homer. Is that the new baby? Ain't she the prettiest thing ever laid eyes on? No. Hush up. <laughs> What's her name, anyway? I reckon I'll call her sister. Hey there, little sister. You three take care now. I'll write to you, Mama. I miss you already. I miss you too, baby. Now go on, get out of here before I start crying. I ain't never been out of rank. What's it like up there? You'll navigate, son. I take it you're not coming with us then? No, I intend to stay right here. I'm not saying goodbye to you. Good. I'm not saying goodbye to you either. Dr. Gray? Dr. Muldoon, I trust we will meet again soon. I ain't never been on a boat, neither. Oh, just mind your balance and you'll do fine. What in the world do you have in there, Homer? Soda pop. <laughs> Soda. You want one? Homer? Thanks, Doc. I figure I'd better be prepared. Here, you mind the baby and I'll do the honors. You want me to hold her? Get used to it, Homer. Hey there. Bye. Bye, Mama. I miss you already. You tell little sister when she's old enough just how much I love her. Now, go on now, June. You be strong. Don't you ever look back? And the river shone like a promise that night. With the bright stars of evening to act as their guide, they cast themselves upon the water and traveled off into the world. Ashes to ashes. Ashes to ashes. And dust unto dust.
dust, dust unto dust. dust. Water! Sir? Maybe it's water! Well, Doc, it's a river. Homer doesn't drink. I boil mine, and June does what I do. She has ever since you got here. It's the simplest thing in the world. Water. June? Yes, Homer? You heard what your ma said. Don't look back. But I want to remember. I know. That'll just make you miss it all the more. Don't tell me you're homesick already. I miss my dirt. I miss my farm, Jimmy. I really do. I have a baby, and I'm a virgin. So don't complain, Homer. <laughs> <laughs>
a most remarkable species, the amateur actor. What in the world is that thing? It's a tornado, June. What do you think it is? But Mom, look at it! Oh, heavenly days. Richard, hey, hey, Reverend, come look at this, will you? They display a most remarkable this? behavior. Yeah. sexual partners to mate with? It's hard to say. What's going on over here? Oh. Intruder! Oh. that old part? We get Galen P. Gray, and the pleasure's all mine. Anatomy of Gray. The, the play. Starts Thursday, March the 8th, and seven shows to follow. Please come out and see this fantastic production. At the Mercury Theater in Duncan. Yay! Yay! Bye!